As the judges welcome the next batch of bakers into the iconic white tent, here's where all the former GBBO winners are now. The Great British Bake Off has been gracing our screens for over a decade, with 14 series of star bakers, soggy bottoms and sunken souffles under its belt. A string of celebrity hosts, a rotation of judges and even a few channel jumps later, the beloved baking competition has evolved since it first hit screens in 2010. As the latest season kicks off with Alison Hammond at the helm, along with co-host Noel Fielding and judges Paul Hollywood and Prue Leaf, we take a look back at the contestants who have held the trophy over the years. From last year's champion Sibira Yusof to fan favorite Rahul Mandel, here's where the GBBO winners are now. Sibira Yusof was crowned the 2022 winner of the Great British Bake Off. The Malaysian-born baker was famed for her quirky designs and delicious flavor combinations, impressing Paul Hollywood on a number of occasions. Sibira said of her win, Thank you so much. I can't believe it. Honestly it hasn't sunk in yet. This is the biggest achievement in my life. Since taking the crown, Sayabira has continued to bake and regularly shares recipes with her Instagram followers. She also launched a Malaysian cooking masterclass online. Giuseppe Delano stole the show in the final of the 2021 Bake Off after he smashed his effort making food for a Mad Hatter's tea party. Since winning the competition, the Italian has gone on to release his own cookery book and couldn't be more thrilled about it. Announcing the news on Instagram, he wrote, Big news. I can finally announce that my first cookbook, Giuseppe's Italian Bakes, is coming out this autumn. If I'm honest, I cannot believe that this is really happening, and I'm still in disbelief while I'm writing this, somebody pinch me, please. Former student Peter Sorkins was the youngest contestant to win the GBBO and was still studying at university when he signed up for the show. Since taking the title, he graduated with a degree in accounting and finance and still continues to bake. He shares his creations on social media, has released a cookbook and has had his recipes published in the Times magazine. David Atherton triumphed in the 2019 series of The Great British Bake Off. His attention to detail and immaculate style was praised by the judges during the final, which he won. Since his victory, David has published a series of cookbooks and presents one half of a popular podcast Sticky Bun Boys. Rahul Mandel blew the judges and viewers away with his intricate creations and humble spirit, so it seemed only fitting he won the 2018 series of the show. Since skyrocketing to fame, he continued to bake and often shares his creations on Instagram. The sweet star also reportedly returned to his day job as a nuclear research scientist at the University of Sheffield's Nuclear Advanced Manufacturing Research Department. Former Army officer Sophie Faldo scored the title of the Great British Bake Off winner in 2017. After taking the crown she announced she wanted to travel the world and release a string of cookbooks, however her baking debut Something Sweet was put on hold. Judging by her social media, Shush is still baking and produces luxury bespoke creations for private clients under the company name Sophie Faldo Couture Cakes. XP teacher Candice Brown won the 2016 series of the hit baking show. She left her job at a school to become a full-time celebrity cook, which involved writing for newspaper columns and appearing on countless TV shows. The former contestant, known for her glamorous look, released a string of cookbooks and now runs a pub in Bedfordshire called The Green Man. Arguably the most successful winner of the GBBO, Nadia Hussein shot to stardom immediately after her victory. The married mum accepted food writing roles in various newspapers, presented her own TV show The Chronicles of Nadia and has released an incredible 12 cookery books. Perhaps her most iconic job since becoming champion was baking the late Queen Elizabeth's 90th birthday cake in 2016. Grandmother Nancy Birthwhistle was crowned GBBO champion in 2014. She told fans she would take every opportunity going after leaving her previous job as a GP practice manager. Nancy now appears on cookery tours across the UK, shares recipes on her successful blog and runs her own baking website. She also campaigns for anti-food waste charity, Love Food Hate Waste. Children's artist Frances Quinn shocked viewers when she took the title in 2013, beating fan favorite Ruby Tando to the trophy. 
she has since baked for a handful of celebrities including Claire Balding and Jules Holland, and now takes commissions for private clients. The Leicester-Bourne Baker also designed the Shard's first anniversary cake. Baker John Waite was only 23 years old when he won the iconic GBBO trophy. Since then he has become a celebrity chef, appearing on TV shows including Lorraine and Steph's Packed Lunch, and made guest appearances on What's Cooking, This Morning and Sunday Brunch. He has released five cookery books, as well as his own autobiography, and opened up a cookery school on his family's Lancashire farm. John also took part in Strictly Come Dancing. Joanne Wheatley stole the crown at the end of the second series of The Great British Bake Off in 2011. Off the back of her life-changing victory, the mother of three launched her own cookery school. She has also released two baking books. The show's first ever winner Ed Kimber used his fame to ditch his debt-collecting job and fast became a full-time food writer. Since his 2010 win, he has released five cookery books and has even worked at two Michelin star chef Raymond Blanc's famous pastry kitchen.